Lanes in the paddock will be on the track momentarily. One is full of Raider. James Carter of Milan, Michigan is the owner. Dean Gillespie is a driver's change. Gillespie drives the one. Here's the two easy going guy, owned by Ron Boston and Sue Milak of Ohio. Ron Boston driving. Number three, big guys back in town, owned by Bertie Hash of Newark, Ohio, handled by Bob Harper. Four, Great Millennium, owned by R.A. and T.E. Miller of Archibald and Roth of Wauseon, Ohio, Dave Hawk drives. Here's the five, Wiz White, over the White Creek Stable of Parkland, Florida, with Ray Paver, Jr. The six category five, owned by Scott Glandon, Larry Fitzgerald, Mark Ader, and Earl Ader of Ohio. Drivers change for the six, Walter Case Jr. Case drives the six. Seven, Jim Eyes Clantastic, owned by Joe and Tim McNarski of DeGroff, Ohio. Roy Burns is in the sulky. For Allen behind the gate. Field of seven, enter the stretch for the start. Here they come. And they're off. Great Millennium rushing out early for the lead on the outside. Challenging Category 5 and widest of all, Jim Eyes Clantastic looking for early position. Towards the inside and fourth, big guys back in town. Away in five is Fuller Raider. Followed in sixth as they swing to the back stretch by easy going guy. The trailer is Wiz White. Down the back stretch at the quarter mile marker and on the front now, category five, charging to the front for the lead. Great Millennium on the inside is racing in second. Big Guys back in town is right there in third. Jim Eyes Clientastic settles for the fourth spot. They pace the quarter in 27-4. Fuller Raider is back in fifth now and here comes Easy Going Guy. He'll flush cover on the outside at the rail trailing. Seventh is Wiz White. Coming past the stands, it's category five with a little length and a half. Right there in his back, the pocket seat for Great Millennium. Then third to Big Guys, back in town. Inside fourth, Jim Eyes Clientastic. Here comes Fuller Raider, flushed first up now. He's challenging fifth. They pass the half in 58 and two. Around the first turn, Case has category five right there on the front. But Great Millennium is right on his back. He's now locked in second as Fuller Raider is inching steadily on the outside. He's He's now in third with the easy going guy on his back. Now he goes three wide down to the inside, trapped in fifth. Big guys back in town. Here comes Wiz White into contention. And the trailer now, J Mines Clytastic. They hit three quarters, 128 and two. And it's still category five. But Great Millennium still waiting on the inside. Three wide, easy going guy at the rail. Big guys back in town. Less than an eighth of a mile ago. It's category five on the inside. Side, great Millennium to the outside. Big guys back in town, turning for home. Category five by two. Great Millennium now battling with big guys back in town, but it's category five to win it. Great Millennium was second. Big guys back in town third in 157. Three fifths. Walter Case Jr. showed up early and showed up with his game face on Ellie. And this stepping into the winner's circle, winner of the opening event here on Jug Day 2000, number six, category five. A trio Colt by Western Hanover out of Swift Tuttle by Nihilator. All by the partnership of Scott Glandon, Larry Fitzgerald, Mark and Earl Ader of Ohio, Dan Ader trains, and catch driven here this morning by Walter Case Jr. The rookie category five scores his fifth of his career, pacing the mile this morning in 157, three fifths. 29 and one final kicker was good enough to get the job done and uh, based on this mile the track is probably not that far from being in real good shape. I think well it's still windy out and uh, I, don't, out. I don't think we have uh, broken the 60 degree mark yet. I but, don't know uh, if we've flirted with the 60 <laughs> right. degree mark yet. But uh, the track is rated good and boy oh boy looking at it now it looks like uh, it's going to be it's definitely going to be fast. The sun's starting to pop through the clouds. I think it's going to make a difference. And that sun and the breeze will dry this out in a, a heartbeat here. These horses normally would probably go 54 or so out here, maybe a tad faster. So.